This is going to be an overview of the Nixenta Fusion user interface. This is the latest in simplicity and ease of use for software-defined storage. The first thing you'll notice is from the appliance screen that we have multiple Nixenta arrays attached to this interface. You can use both a single cluster or a dual-head HA environment if you want to manage. First thing we'll do is we'll jump into the Nixenta store array and you'll see the different components that are in the array, including whatever JBOD you have and disks that are available. We've got a lot of different options for that, just like we have in previous versions, to keep the flexibility and freedom that you want for SDS. Normally, your traditional behaviors are going to create your first pool. We've got one created here already, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you what's in it. With it, we notice it's online and set as mirror disks, what the raw capacity is on it, as well as I can go and see the individual disk. Down to, in this VDEV, I have two SSDs in this mirror. Tells me where it's at, whether I'm having any errors on it, even down to my cache drives as well. Any properties that I want to change, I can also set from this screen. Once I've got a pool, the next thing I would do is create a file system. So I've got a few file systems already created here, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new one just so we can see it. On this, we'll just call this FS2, and we can see whether you want to change the record size or quota size, a few parameters that can only be done at creation, and then some additional optional settings. You'll see the screen as you create things throughout the interface for things that are not common, but you might want to add or change in your environment. Once we've created it, we'll right away see that we have this FS2 here. Well, we need to share that out. So a single click shares this out as SMB, and just as easily, another click to share that via NFS, whether it's open or whether you want to set some of your credentials. We'll go ahead and set this one as open and save it out. Now it's already created. So once I have that, the next piece is always going to be to do the protection of that. So I go to data protection, and the first screen I'll see is for ad hoc snapshots. So I can simply create ad hoc one, recursive, meaning it will go down to any file systems below it as well. That snapshot's now created. If I needed to revert back to it or clone it, I can do that from the cog. That's where all your actions are gonna be. If you didn't want ad hoc, you can also create a service. We'll call this one daily. Tell it I want to do a snapshot, you can also do any replication from here. Whether it's local or if you're going to a secondary array, you simply tell it what the data set is and the IP address. We'll set, schedule some snapshots here though. The same scheduler engine, since I want that to be daily, I'm going to have this run every day and we'll have it run at 1 in the morning. When you're only doing a local snapshot, you can tell it how many copies to keep locally. But if you're looking for replication, we can also say for local or remote, so you don't have to keep as many copies and have it equal on both sides. Simply add the schedule and say create. Once we've created that, now this will, on every day at 1 in the morning, take a snapshot. We also have the capability to do a almost synchronous, the, an asynchronous replication that gives you a sub 15 minute RPO for different things. That's just an option we've added with Nexenta Store 5 and Fusion 1. Now that this is all created, if I go back to the file system screen, you'll notice I've added these snapshots. On this one, I actually have a replication going on, but it went to a target that we already had. If I want to see a little bit more, I can also now get information from the dashboard. The dashboard is going to be consistent across all your appliances within your Fusion interface. So where I showed you the five or six appliances in the first screen, all of them will have the same look. So you'll be able to see the health, where your capacity is, on a per array base. Everything down to if you wanted to do shares. This is also configurable. When I go to analytics, I can change around this dashboard, but even more importantly, on a per appliance basis, I can create my own ca canvases. Whether it's for different shares, whether it's I want to see capacity, all I do is simply open this up, grab a widget, drag it on. Now if I want to make that change of size on that, I can do that as well to make it easier if I want to have different information. These will stay. As soon as I close this, this becomes persistent and you're able to use it. All of that gives you a real quick overview of all the feature set and functionality you can get in this new Nixenta Fusion interface. Across appliances, with alerting, with analytics, and very easy time to be able to manage things to get you the day-to-day -day operations of file presentation, block presentation, as well as data protection.